in this particular video, I discuss set of uh, 10 questions. So what you need to do is, so I make sure that one question will appear on the screen. You have to pause the video. You should try to answer. And once you complete your answer, you have to again play the video and you have to listen to my answer. So what is programming paradigm? Programming paradigm means the way in which we organize the programs. So there are two basic programming paradigms. One is structured programming paradigm and another one is object oriented programming paradigm. For example, C is example for structured programming and object oriented programming C++, Java. So example for object oriented programming. So the way in which we organize the programs in structured programming, we give importance to functions. We don't give importance to data. So data we freely move from one function to another function. But in the case of object oriented programming, we give importance to data. Now, what do you mean by device drivers? Which programming language is more suitable to write device driver programs? So device driver means, for example, you take pen drive. The moment when you insert the pen drive, you get one small message, hardware found like that means your operating system identified that particular device that is pen drive so for each hardware device to identify each hardware device there should be one program that program is called device driver program that should be that should come along with the operating system the moment when you install the operating system device driver programs will be installed automatically so for each and every hardware device, there will be a device driver program. So which programming language is more suitable to write device driver programs? Obviously there is no other language because C, none other than C. The reason is when it comes to device driver program, the performance is very important, the speed of execution, because you have to identify the device at the earliest. So device driver programs are written in C language. C language. Now third question. Is it true that operating system like Windows, Linux and Unix are written in C language? Yes. So Windows is written in C, Linux is written in C and Unix is written in C. So you may get doubt what is the difference between Unix and Linux. Unix is command based, Linux is GUI based. What is the output of the following program? Now here there is one small program. See, there is one global variable X. So X is 40. And here there is one local variable X equal to 20. Now always try to understand one thing. Local variable enjoys more priority compared to global variable. So here int x equal to 20. So it is a stack memory. Memory will be allocated to x and 20 is stored here. Print f percentage dx. Obviously it prints 20, not 40. So it searches first for x in its function. Okay, so when CPU is in the main function, it searches for x in the first main function. If it is not available, then only it will go for global variable. So the output of the program is 20. The output of the program is 20. Now what is the output of the following program? Here, first, the moment when CPU enters to this opening bridge, stack will be created. And x equal to 40, 40 will be pushed onto the stack. 40 will be pushed onto the stack. And again, when CPU enters to this opening bridge, x equal to 20, so 20 will be pushed onto the stack. Printf percentage dx, what is there on the top of the stack? 20. So 20 will be printf first. 
Next, it comes out of this closing brace. So this 20 will be popped off. So 20 will be popped off. Now 20 is not there in the stack. So what is there on the top of the stack now? 40. Print f percent dx. So 40 will be printed. So the output of the program is 2040. The output of the program is 2040. And here, when the control comes out of this closing brace, this 40 also will be popped. This 40 will also be popped. What do you mean by little Indian and big Indian processors? See, this little Indian and big Indian is basically, so whether the data types like integer or any other data type, whether it's represented from left to right or right to left, based on we consider whether it is a little Indian processor or big Indian processor. Indianness is an attribute of the processor that indicates whether integers and other data types are represented from left to right or right to left in the memory. Now, little Indianness means that lower order byte of the number is stored in a memory at the lowest address and higher order byte at the highest address. For example, see here, byte zero. So this is lower order byte. So stored in a memory at the lowest address. This is the lowest address. And higher order byte at the highest address. So when it comes to big Indian processors, this will be reverse. For example, big Indian means higher order byte of the number is stored in a memory at the lowest address and lower order byte will be at the highest address. For example, see here, byte three, byte two, byte one, byte zero. So in little Indian, it was like byte zero, byte one, byte two, byte three. So that is the difference between little Indian architecture and big Indian architecture. You find out your Intel processors belong to which architecture, Motorola processor belong to which architecture, like that. Predict the output of the following snippet. Now, char star p. Now p is a pointer variable. P is a pointer variable. And it holds the address. It holds the address. If you go to that address, in that address, you can find one character variable. So here, one character is sitting. So this is the address. Now, size of star P. Star P means what? Go to P. In P, you will find an address. Go to that address. There, what you find? That size. So here, the size of this particular, okay, is character is one byte. And size of P. So P is a pointer variable. So it holds address. So address will be of the size of the integer of that particular system. So if you are using 16-bit compiler, integer size is 2 bytes. If you are using 32-bit compiler, integer size is 4 bytes. So now most of the compilers are 32-bit. So now size of P, that is address is 4. So the output of the program is 1 and 4. Because here size of star P means it will go to P. In P, it will find an address, it will go to that address. In that address, what is sitting is one character constant. So it is one byte. So size of the address, so size of P. P means what is there in P is address. Address is four bytes. Address is four bytes. Predict the output of the following program. Void main printf percent d out int error. It throws error. The reason is, it encounters here out, so but it will not even come to know that it is defined outside the main program. So to eliminate this error, what we need to do is we need to give here one statement: extern int out. So extern keyword tells that okay, memory for out is defined okay somewhere outside the program. Check it out then we will not get the error. So without this extern statement, you get error. Predict the output of the following program. Void main int a, memory will be allocated to a. So printf percentage d, scan of percentage d, ampersand phi. Assume phi is given as an input, okay. So it prompts for the, this program prompts for the input because of scan of statement. 
so you type five the five will come and sit here the five will come and sit here printf percent ad okay so printf i told you how many characters okay so it printed onto the screen so it will return that now what happened here so it is accept it accepted one character so printf percent ad so it will return one so what is the output of the program one because it accepted one number it accepted one number so it will return one so the output of the program is one predict the output of the following program int i equal to two so memory will be allocated to two switch i so it will search for case one no case two it will give the message two so default case default can be anywhere in the program so you need not to worry okay so default can be anywhere in the program you need not to worry so this work this program absolutely works fine so you get two as the output.